Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order. It's January 3rd, 2018 at 7.05. Okay. And the first order of business is to uh, swear into office the re-elected trustee, Mark Crockett. So you can repeat after me. Okay. I, Mark Crockett, do solemnly swear. I, Mark Crockett, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And will faithfully discharge the duties of Miami Township. And will faithfully discharge the duties of Miami Township. Oh, I'm sorry, trustee in Greene County. <laughs> trustee in Greene County. State of Ohio. State of Ohio. During my continuance in office. During my continuance in office. Thank you. All right. So, <laughs> All right. so I would like to. No, you wouldn't. No. No, yeah, no. let's see. <laughs> You'd like to, but you're well, not going to. Um, I am, I am the temporary chairperson, correct? You are. But I, I guess when I was previously appointed before the meeting started. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we've never tried to figure this, that out. Somebody has to nominate me so, to be. Appointed temporary chairperson. Okay, well that's fine because I mean you you called the meeting to order and you swore in Mark. That's good. Mm -hmm. I will not. I, I will uh, uh, move to appoint Margaret temporary chairperson for to call for nominations of board presidents for the year 2018. <coughs> I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am now going to call for nominations. Uh, for a new board president for the year 2018. Okay, I would like to nominate Chris Meacher for a new uh, board chairman. Uh, Second that. Okay, um, if there's no more conversation, we'll proceed to vote. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Uh, I now ask for a nomination for a board vice president for uh, <laughs> Year 2018, I will nominate uh, Mark Crockett for that position. And I will second that. Okay. Uh, hearing, hearing, is there any other discussion regarding that nomination? Or that may we vote, please? Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. All right, we are official. Um, and now. Entertain a motion to move for the adoption of the minutes of uh, December 18, 2017. I will second that motion. Or you move, uh, you, you how about you move? Make that motion. Yeah, you'll move. I'll second. Okay. Just keep it official. Uh, any discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. I'll then move for, uh, there are two special meetings, one on the 26th, one on the 27th. I'd entertain a motion to adopt minutes of the special meeting of December 26th. Okay. I will uh, make that motion. I'll second it. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may we uh, vote, please? Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. I now entertain a motion to move here uh, to move for the adoption of this. Special minutes of December 27th, 2017. And I will make that motion. I'll second that. Uh, hearing no further discussion, may we vote on those, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Other than, other than that, there's no total of the bills. Are the breakdowns is, correct? I, I, excuse me, I did provide you with a, a, an agenda. That okay, I must have the same one or twice. Oh, I know. There. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Right, that be... that's, that's got real information on that. Okay. okay. Gotcha. I got some numbers there, yeah. All right. I will now entertain a motion to approve payment <coughs> of bills of $69,413.77. Broke down uh, general fund 47.35.28, fire fund 18. 993.38, cemetery 635.75, EMS building 46.68.10, 
Road and Bridge 35-86-34, and Capital Project Account 4901, $35,000 even. Hmm. Sir, a motion. And I will make that motion. Second that for the payment of the bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any further discussion regarding those? Uh, I didn't bring them with me. I'll see if I can do this from memory. There's a bill for Xenia, sand and gravel, and mm -hmm. landfill mm -hmm. for a thousand or so dollars. Mm -hmm. Thousand fifty. That should have been paid out of the fire fund. The one thousand one ninety nine five ninety nine. Okay. Well, um, that, when that we was, talked to Ashley about it, he said he, they weren't going to be able to reimburse us for that. Sure, they will. And that's what he said. No, he okay. said it's going to cost you. It, it, you know, I can't. Re I can't reimburse you for your labor costs and. Um, or whatever he said, and then he said, um, and it's probably cheaper for you to do it anyway. Okay. Or, may, or maybe, maybe he was talking about actually Dan, Dan's labor to right. do that job. Right. But this is the bill for the disposal. Right. Well, okay. Well, then we'll just have to, I'll just have to avoid the issue that okay. with, All right. you know, for, I'll have to fix that. And then there's the. And then, um, the and I'll, you know what, and then I'll also have to make it, have an amendment to that appropriation line. Because you didn't know the money. Because I didn't put any money in there right. for this time because I thought it was all coming out of. Yeah. So in our temporary appropriations, it is not there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like, like to wait until the next that's meeting. That's fine. But I just, we just, let's kind of straighten that up. Let's maybe put a little money in there for incidentals such as that. <coughs> or because we're only going to get money, you know, to pay for firehouse expenses as we present the invoices to the USDA. Right. So, for example, on the 17th, we will take that invoice and we will staple it to the check, the, the copy of the check that we sent them, and the cover letter that you may or may not have seen, that, where we'll list all of these expenses and we'll give it to them on the 17th, and that'll be part of the okay. reimbursement. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Is that both bills together? Can we can bill it once. Yeah, we already built once. It was only two hundred seventy-five. Two seventy-five. Yeah, that was the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's something else I'll have to go through and look at it again. I'm there was sorry. something else that was supposed to be for fire for. And it was supposed to be for something. Something was wasn't quite right. But it wasn't big. All right. All right. So then we. Uh, uh, might as well go through this correspondence before we get. Wait, did we didn't we didn't vote. Oh, we did vote? Okay, no. I'm sorry. Any further discussion it's regarding paying of those bills? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Correspondence. Uh, this period is uh, how kind of grassroots clipping. Email from USDA about the meeting on the 17th. Uh, There's also one meeting, the township meeting that night. Right. We, 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 can make, we can talk about that a little further in the, in the, new, t in the new firehouse report because that's it's an interesting discussion. Um, copy of the official bond that we uh, acquired on the 27th. Um, a copy of uh, <coughs> USDA's, we're going to get a million of these, ordering loan funds to cover the, the $35,000 that, that pays Din, Dinsmore today, tonight. Um, we have an RPCC meeting announcement. Uh, uh, we have F, a uh, environmental uh, economic Sustainability Commission meeting on the third. Ooh, that's tonight. We're missing it. Uh, <laughs> meeting announcement from the Public Health Department. Uh, an email from the Village Zoning Administrator officially designating our new firehouse's address as 101, 1001 Zinia <laughs> Avenue. Yep. <laughs> Same as before. Yep. <laughs> An email from Community Solutions regarding their work and uh, their request for some donations and other things that <coughs> they're working on. Hey, trying to upstage the president. Let's, <laughs> let's hold off on that. <laughs> it just started. Um, email about the Green County Association dinner on the January 19th, which is at going, going to be at Soy Medical Center and it is solely for the purpose of honoring Carol Graff and her 43 years of uh, service to the, to the uh, residents of Greene County and, and multiple uh, offices. 
That will be and what's the date of it? January 9th. Um, mm -hmm. the week from yesterday. So be there, be square. Letter from the OTCA uh, and fund status, revenue status, preparation status for today. Is there any further uh, communication from the board? Uh, I have one that I got this afternoon. I had asked, uh, I guess we could do this in Firehouse too, but I had asked Dan Montgomery a couple of times um, as we had these meetings, he, he, he started to get a better feel for exactly how much this thing is going to cost us <coughs> instead of just doing it by the square foot or this, that, and the other thing. He was saying, well, we're working on it, we're getting our cost estimators yeah. on it. And so, okay, so I asked him again. And he says, I'll just talk to our cost estimator. <laughs> We've been planning on getting that cost estimate out next Monday on the 8th. You might be able to get it wrapped up on Friday, but we still want to have a chance for the design team to look it over. Blah, blah, blah. He did say that he didn't see any big changes that would affect cost, so that sounds encouraging, which is the reason that I would want to read this to you, because if there's no big changes, then that's encouraging. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> that's my one additional piece of correspondence today. Uh, I said it sounds worse than it is. <laughs> okay, now we've got to run through a few of these. Um, uh, first of your motions, and then we'll get back to the order of business. <coughs> I apologize, we're going to do this in kind of a little bit haphazard. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you want to, I mean, is there anything no. you can yeah. do? No? No. Nothing. No. Okay, we'll just keep that coming. Yeah. It just sneaks up on you. I don't take over anything. Uh, with the advice of consent and consent of our <coughs> administrator, I'm going to um, request a motion to accept zoning fees for the year of 2018 as they were in 17. Zoning administrator, do I get that advice and consent? It's fine with me. All right, thank you. Is there a motion? I will make that motion. And I will second it in the discussion about that. Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett? <coughs> yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. And now I entertain a motion to establish mileage rate for travel outside the township at 0.54 cents per mile. Do you know whether the feds have changed that up or down? I do not. I haven't heard of it. Okay, so let's leave it at that. It changes, we can, yeah. Yeah. Is there a motion? Yes, Mark makes them. And I will second it. I just want you to run through this. Uh, any further discussion regarding that? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Yes. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. <coughs> I now uh, entertain a motion to recommend the following board appointments as follows. MBRPC would be myself. Uh, MBRPC Technical Advisory Committee, I'm going to nominate, nominate uh, Mr. Hollister. Green County Regional Planning, uh, I will nominate myself. <coughs> Green County Council on Aging. Uh, did we kind of let that go away, Mark? Or? Uh, we kind of let that go away, but... Uh, you I kind of changed that to somewhat the senior center or... Senior yeah, center. let's, let's uh, do the uh, wise senior center. Okay. Okay. 54. 54. <coughs> okay. 55. Oh, oh, an extra, extra tenth of a penny. Yeah. It was 53.5 in 2017. So, so we we'll might just go back and make that 55. Yeah. Officially. Yeah. Very good. That's um, a difference. Yeah, we are. Cooptown <laughs> Union Cemetery. I'm going to nominate Mr. Hollister for that. <laughs> Uh, Clifton Union Sexton, I'm going to nominate Mr. Kokenauer for that. Yeah, Dan! Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm up to the challenge. Uh, that's 2018. Go way to get enough votes. For, <laughs> and and the the yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. We now call the ESC. Uh, Mark, you've had a little difficult time with scheduling and making those meetings. Mm -hmm. would, would you like to continue doing that? Or yeah, would you let, like me, to? let me continue doing okay. that. Now that I'm retired, I've got time. All right, well, better get going because they started at 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, Grail Mill Foundation, uh, I'll nominate myself for that. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, right. Coffin somewhere else. Okay, do I have a motion for those uh, recommendations? I will make that motion. Okay. Moves, I will second. Any further discussion regarding those? <coughs> please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to entertain a motion to establish meeting schedule for the year of 2018 as follows. First and third Monday of each month, unless they fall on a holiday, then the meetings will be on a Wednesday following the holiday. Special meetings will be posted on the Township website and Fire Station Bulletin Board. We need to have a discussion about this real quick. Uh, there have been some meetings, some special meetings that have been posted on the Bulletin Board, but not on the website uh, at the same time. So we need yeah. to either we need to either change the, the verbiage that says post on township's website and or fire station bulletin board or we just plain have to uh, arrange to have every meeting uh, on both sites is there, a, is there a pleasure of the board with advice from the board? yeah what, what's our legal requirement for our legal requirement is a 24-hour notice uh, on a place designated and a designated location. Yes. Uh, I so, think we should drop the township website because I don't know how to put it on there. For starters. Well, I do. And, no. But we. But so then, let's just say and or. Okay. I, I think the best. It's always and best to, to do it in as many ways as I, possible. I concur. And, with if, and if we if it's easy enough to do it Inspector. on the website, then we might as well try to do both. Okay. So let's make that and or. And or. And uh, I would recommend that uh, that we all take a training session. Okay. On how to put it on the website? Uh, easy enough. Okay. Uh, is there a motion for this? Yes. Okay, Mr. Crockett moves. I'll second. Any further discussion regarding these changes? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Now I entertain a motion to set contracts with Green Township, Clifton Union Cemetery, Ma Green Con Township for Clifton Union Cemetery Mason maintenance, spit it out, and with the Village of Clifton for snow removal and street repair as requested. I did solve Clifton, Clifton on whatever day that was, sorry. Yeah. Um, each contract will be no negotiated separately and as soon as possible. Is there a motion? Yes. Mr. Crockett moves. I will second that. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Uh, I'll now entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session to discuss matters of personnel. Um, we're supposed to be specific, so I guess that's uh, hiring or firing. Yep. With the fire department. Yep. Yeah. Well, it just says matters. Matters of personnel, that's everybody. Okay. So nobody's job is secure. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so is that what we're going to do? Elected official. We're in executive session. Can you go turn that off, please? Yes. Deposit. I could, but it's in there. Okay. 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 And I didn't call once. Really? You really had to call for your own camera. Okay, I will now entertain a motion to appoint Colin Alton Fire Chief, Dan Powell, Assistant Fire Chief, any additional full-time or multiple part-time firefighter, EMT, paramedics, as needed, and all current volunteers on the roster. I will motion? make that motion. Mr. Crockett moves. I will second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. <sighs> I now entertain a motion to appoint Daniel Gokenauer, Road Department employee, and any other part time employees as necessary. Yes. Mr. Crockett moves. I will second. Any further discussion regarding the appointment? Here, none. May report, please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Now I entertain a motion to appoint Richard Zobb's own inspector for the year 2018. Is there a motion? Yes, Mr. Crockett with, moves with one uh, addition, the good-looking Richard Zong. Oh, not my evil twin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
There's something there, but I'm just going to move on. Uh, any further discussion regarding that appointment? Uh, hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. And I indicated a motion to appoint Dale Anstutz to the Zoning Commission, effective uh, uh, 1118 oh. and ending 1231 uh, 2022. Is there a motion? I will make that motion. <laughs> Mr. Crockett moves. I will second any further discussion regarding that um, mm -hmm. motion. Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. I now entertain a motion to appoint <coughs> Jeffrey Garrison uh, to the board, board of Zoning Appeals, effective uh, 1118 and ending 1231 20, 22. Um, is there a um, uh, a motion for that? Mr. Crockett moves. I'll second. <laughs> Any further discussion regarding that motion? Um, what year from what year to mm -hmm. what year? From 1231. It's beginning, beginning in 18 and ending at the end of 22. The five year term. Uh, hearing no further discussion, may we vote please? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Now I entertain a motion to establish uh, 2018 pay schedule for full-time employees at the current rate with a 2% cost of living increase retroactive to January 1, uh, 18. Wait, uh, go ahead. Do we not want to do retroactives anymore because it's so difficult for you to do? Well, well, yeah, it is real difficult to, to calculate. I mean, I can do it, but it would be much easier if we started it at the next pay period, basically. All right, yeah. let's do that. And that's pay period covers for the first. We're going to no. pay for what we want. No, you have a couple of days in December. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, <coughs> that's our next pay. Okay, so, so that would be retroactive to whatever the last pay, whatever the first day is of the pay period that we're in. Okay. Yeah, which is December something. Okay. Is there a motion? Twenty seven. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Crockett moves. I will second. Yes, thank any, you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Crockett? That's a yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. I need to learn the Morse code, huh? <laughs> okay, I will entertain a motion to establish holiday schedule for 2018 okay. as follows. Martin Luther King Day is January 15th. Uh, President's Day is February 19th. Memorial Day is May 28th. Fourth of July is Fourth of July. September, our uh, Labor Day is uh, uh, an external call. September 3rd. Uh, Columbus Day is October 8th. Um, Veterans Day is November 12th. Uh, Thanksgiving Day is the 22nd of November. Uh, Christmas obviously 25th, and uh, uh, New Year's Day. January 1 of 19. Um, I'm not questioning, but, yes. I, but I'm curious. Don't we usually, don't we every year, like whatever day it was on last year, it moves a day forward? But a lot of these went backwards. Oh, I just read it off the Otarma calendar. Okay, Maybe then. Anybody wants to change it? Is it a leap year? I don't know. It's a 28th this year. I mean, no, it's a regular. It's a, no, it's not a year. It's a standard year. <laughs> Multiples of four. Yeah, you know. 20, they we can. I believe Mr. Mutcher is correct. Or Otama is correct. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, it doesn't, but I'll. Yes, you I, you're right. Okay. Uh, but okay. I don't, oh. I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> the day of the week moves ahead. Is it? Is Whatever. It? Yeah. I that makes the Is there a motion well, for this? Is on uh, Monday, next year. Oh, yes. That's yes. holiday schedule. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Crockett moves. I will second. Uh, for the discussion regarding well, those. Monday day will be a day earlier. Yes. No, no, no. Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Okay. Let me skip that stuff there. All right, so that's the end of the old one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our department report. Well, oh, by God. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Since last meeting, we've got 32 EMS insects. 
seven fire incidents and two fire safety inspections. Uh, MTFRs were rocking New Year's Eve, went off well. Um, no one froze. The, the fact that it was, it well, may have frozen, but it didn't come to us at least, so. Uh, our hot chocolate warmed their souls. Uh, a couple hundred people. It was a huge crowd, but it was bigger than I thought, given the fact that it was <coughs> 20 below zero. So, um, and then they all left quickly, which was very nice. Um, and orderly. And very orderly. Yes. Uh, we had six six people, and the entire explorer post were out. They were allowed to stay up that late. We they had to have permission. So. Special distancing. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and Lieutenant Ayers ended up with a, I think an extra hour of pay because he had to drive Casey back. Because so. he was going to make his mom drive back out, and we're like, oh, come on. <laughs> he said, I got to go back to Beaver Creek. I might as well just stay yeah. in the West Carolina. So. Uh, but it went well, so people seem to like it. Um, uh, as, uh, I'm not sure if we're doing any of the next year. Do you get to rotate on that? Who hosts it? Who uh, hosts it each year? I mean, if someone else wants to pick it up, I'm sure that we'd be happy to pick it up. But it was fun, as long as I can get people to work it. And as many of my staff told me, we're going to work. <laughs> so, that worked out pretty well. Uh, uh, speaking of staff, however, where are they? Oh. Uh, volunteer staffing is, uh, especially on EMS incidents, is still a nightmare. And I say that because this is my fourth night on duty uh, covering uh, for people. So um, we're working on, hopefully, by the next day, we'll have an idea of basically we're going to have to fill in certain nights with a part. With until we can get people through an EMT class, which unfortunately is four to five months of time. Right. But you know, this month so far, we have 12 out of 31 days that don't have a crew at night. And we gotta do something. So all up around the paramedic, yeah. My gosh, I wish we could do like Kelly Kelly staffing or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't look at the so, so we'll see. But Amy Day and I have been picking up shifts and um, and everyone else is you know, they're doing what they can. Yeah, but you so can't do fast. that forever. I said this for forever. Yeah. So no, last night we actually walked out. We had a call at um, it was lucky for me, but at two fifty-two in the morning. Well, I heard that one. <laughs> I got up, came out of the station. There was no one on duty, but no one showed up. And then I was, we we're going to give it to the township. And then Dave Meister had just got off duty at the police department. Really? Mm -hmm. Call. <laughs> he shows up on the scene, meets me after <laughs> done it all. I think I felt like we're in Oakwood, you know. But it worked out. We got the patient to the hospital and all that kind of stuff. We had a second call then, and then I don't know if anybody was paying attention. Mm -hmm. They were happy to do something. So. Um, I put on here firearms in township facilities. Um, because we're so low staff, so I can start harming everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, the signs are still posted out there. I know the state legislature, I sent an email to Stephanie, but I haven't heard back yet um, about this. But, the state legislature had changed some of the rules about where you could carry in Ohio. I think government buildings were still up to the discretion of the government mm -hmm. entity. Um, that being the case, then uh, <coughs> I've had members who've asked if they could bring a gun in here. And the command staff really don't want people having guns unless you're a uniformed police officer or you know, a federal agent or something. Mm -hmm. like that. But, um, and I, I spoke with Stephanie before about this, and she said, you know, we, we you. You pretty much do whatever you want mm -hmm. because that law still exists. Um, and then most places will limit it to, most government places will limit it to a, a uniformed or other sworn law enforcement officer, so, you know, private security guard or some little rental cop, they're not going to count. Right. And I mean, we don't have an issue with those co members who like to try and push the boundaries, but it would help me to be able to say that we discuss this the board, the board <coughs> would like to continue with a unless you're a cop. Yeah. I mean, we, we've told our guys because you know there's some departments in Clark County that let their people carry on duty in the ambulance, which I think is the worst idea ever in the time. Uh, first of all, I don't know if you're going to shoot in the back of the ambulance; it's just going to go right through that aluminum wall and kill someone else. But, um, but anyway, so if that is okay with with you guys, I and mean, it's no change in policy, we've always prohibited that, right? You know, in accordance with the law. So yeah, I think we should continue with that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. They say we don't have a major problem. You know, Yale Springs Police or Sheriff's Deputy, obviously, they can right. do their thing there. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, oh, then I have a personal matter for a brief executive session um, related to employee discipline. Okay. 
Uh, we'll call that at 736 or so. <laughs> Okay, we are back in public session. Uh, no action as a result of no action as a result of that. Uh, what else you got, Chief? That's it. Mark, you got anything for the Chief? The preliminary 2018, 2017 numbers for you guys in the next meeting. Yeah, I like that little. What was it called? Fast facts. Fast facts. Yeah. I was looking at. You got that kind of the sound of it. <laughs> so I think a lot easier to do those than a 12-page annual report. <laughs> um, I don't know where you and Denny are on this, but I would like to know, as soon as these numbers come available, what kind of monies we're looking at for the systems that we're putting in, which I don't remember exactly which ones we are, but it's the all the internal uh, the, the monitors and the tones and the whatever else we're providing. I know he's working on it. Yeah, it's the IT end of things. Right. And I think we're paying for the, uh, We're paying for all of it. Well, I mean, we're paying for all of it, yeah, but I mean, we're... I mean, well, we're providing all providing of it. Providing it. Yeah. I got it. I got you. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to ask a question to put it in a minute. We are... Um, there are certain things that instead of having the contractors provide for us at a higher cost, uh -huh. and then install the new fire station. Oh, this is for the new fire station. We're purchasing. Oh, okay. We're specking purchasing. They're, they're going to purchase the computer. Or either installing the phone or, or having someone else install. Um, it's IT stuff, the monitors for the <coughs> station alerting. The telephone system. That's telephone, true. radio. It's the things you've done before yourself. Yeah. Uh, Access control, but I don't think we're doing that ourselves. I think we just expect it for them. I think so. Because that seems that seemed a little bit complex. Yeah. I think they're getting it. They're going to do the install of the IT stuff. Mm -hmm. We're just ordering it. So mm -hmm. I'll check that within the month. Okay. So just we'll let you know. Yeah. Just wonder where we are. Where we are on that. That's all. These days, it's just putting the Wi-Fi <laughs> machine but in the right place. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else for the chief? Hearing none. Uh, new firehouse report. There isn't a whole heck of a lot. Uh, but basically, that was the, the cost estimates that I was asking about. We've got the bond. Uh, we are looking at, uh, uh, according to the architects, we're looking at, uh, I think, next week, the end of next week, to be uh, totally done with the work, um, have their final review, and then it will come to us slash Ashley and he's got what three weeks to look at it and then it goes to Green County, County for permanent uh -huh. and <coughs> if you heard anything I mean it's, it's Al's probably hadn't looked at the thing at all I mean you know Dan sent him the PDF of the drawings I'm sure he hasn't had a chance to yeah, look at it. Yeah I have not heard anything from Al I can call him on it sort of, just to follow up yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. I thought that um, hopefully that was a helpful meeting we had with him. But yeah it seemed like it. Yeah, see, definitely did. So I mean, nothing he didn't know. I've seen uh, him do that before, so yeah, I was a little concerned. He doesn't have to just accept architect stamp drawings. No, no, <coughs> no. He's got an architect. Well, it wasn't. I don't know who the new person is, but they had an architect on his staff. Who oh, yeah, they had review. a staff architect. Yep. Oh, okay. They do all the plan review except plumbing, mm -hmm. which goes to yeah. health. But uh, and they've they. They catch a lot. I'm impressed because we're copied of the fire <laughs> thing. And they'll find a lot of things that you think the contractor would have known to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that MSA was open to meeting with them. Okay, uh, moving along. Cemetery. Cemetery. Well, we haven't had any burials since the last meeting, but we're going to have one Saturday. Mm -hmm. Just the ashes. Maybe another ashes next week. Yeah, and call me back. It'll go on the Sears and section of it. Mm -hmm. It's ashes that we'll put on it's his brother. That's yeah. Okay. So he'll call me back. It's coming from Portland or somewhere out west. It's good. So he'll call back. You probably know, know right off, but the, uh, the double space that we sold to the people, Jordan's. Yes. 
uh, and put baby Jordan in. I need to know because I want to put it in the records where baby Jordan is. I can, I'll draw it out for you. Okay. See, actually, they'll be here and here. She's at, or he's here, and then they'll be mom and dad. Okay. okay. But, yeah. But, I, you know, I just want to put it in there you, so I give you, you know, 20 years from now when they go to put somebody in there, we'll know, somebody right. will know where to put them. Yeah. I'll do that for you. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> um, I didn't have much else for cemetery to staff. Okay. Not much activity. Anything for cemeteries for Mark? No. Uh, let's, let's just drive it down the road. We had a little snow. We did. <laughs> that's, a, that's my action. <laughs> I haven't forgotten how to do it. Right. I've done, done an okay job. Make sure you did. And you, you obviously done a good job. And we both used some salt. Did we get any more? I have more. Is it there? It's, it's over with the rest of it. Oh, okay. I thought you said you had brought, we brought all of it. We brought the last 40 tons in. That was oh. still over there. We have 100, 100 there, but we don't pay for it until we use it. Oh, okay. So we need it. Just get it. Yeah. We're pretty good for it. It's, it's there if you need it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, you know, I tell him I don't have room for it, and he said, "Well, we just pay for it when we get it." Mm -hmm. so, <coughs> it helps him get a pretty, a little better price by ordering an extra. And he went ahead and ordered an extra hundred for us this year, which we haven't got any of it yet. It's there. If okay. we need it, and we just pay for it as we get it. Do you have, do you have working, to your knowledge, do you have working spreaders and plows for the older truck? Oh. Okay. There's no plow and it's in the other bin and then the spreaders in the garage. Okay. Awesome. So if you need Oh, well, we can dress both trucks. Yeah, I just, I just use the one truck for now. Yeah, I just, you know, in case something happened to it as well. I try to leave the, the older truck for burials yeah. without the spreader. I mean, we can do them. Right. But if we need it, it's a half hour I'll have it dressed up and ready to go. Yeah. So. Um, something, you know, we need to think about. Um, I don't know where, what's your relation, where you and Junie are in employee-employer relationship. I don't think I don't think I don't have any. You don't? So I think I'll find somebody else. Well, okay, that's a good idea, or whatever. But we need to find somebody who probably could potentially plow. Right, that's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I mean, he, he did, he plowed. Uh, I just don't, I don't think he did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he might. Yeah, I didn't know. I don't stuff. Oh, okay. Never seen him by himself. You know, yeah. I want to make sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure that he's going to be. Okay. okay. So. All right, well, something to keep in mind and, and you know, to work on. Um, All right. Already on. Good. Uh, of course, we're at the first of the year. We need to get, you know, the records together for what we did for Clifton, get them a bill, uh, records together what we did for Clifton Union, and get them a bill. Right. This year, un unless there's a big uproar around here, I, I want I want the, that bill to have one number at the bottom. You can break it out all you want. You can put mowing, you can put burials, you can put tree trimming, you can put whatever, but I want the number at the bottom to say $13,752 or 19000 I don't want to give them, I mean, they'll still do it, but right. you know, I, I don't yeah. want to but give them not paying it. Right. We've had this barrier exactly. and the other, so you want one. Yeah. Got it. And we'll give that to Don and let him run with that. Since he's in the yeah. ground. Okay. <laughs> Can you print a list off like you did for me last year? Huh? Can you print that list off? Don't yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you do that? Oh, yeah. I, I forgot about I mean, that. I hate sure. to ask, but it really helps move things along. So no, I got it. Just, no, I got I'm, it. I'm back to keeping my, yeah. my no, daily, it. which I didn't for a long time. So okay. Things will get a little easier for me. All right. Oh, so much up here. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing and the last thing is uh, sometime soon ish, not really, soon, soon, but I want you to. Think about and tend to commit to what your next most urgent capital purchase is going to be. Um, updated 
Bobcat, yeah, an old an old truck from Bob Guyer, one of the big ones, you know, that they put on the website, so that's what they cool. is that God love them, that old fast top truck, you know. It would probably be usable, but it's gonna take some Yeah. I mean batteries four hundred bucks. Yeah. You know, right. Belts and it's gonna take some dollars. Yeah. Or save money for save up for a replacement in when, three years right where are we? On, on two six five or one six five. Yeah. Yeah, just now but it's a it's an L four. Right. So yeah, it's gonna be another so, year or two, a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. So I've thought about this. <coughs> Okay. Once we get through all the firehouse stuff. But by by the first of April, when we do our our, our, you know, our permanent preparations, you know, it'd be nice. You know, if we had a line in there. That we were sure. Well, the price is saving for something. It's a lot ballpark price mm -hmm. or something. Okay. Where you need to. You, need. you 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 leaving or just being standing just audience? Answer. Okay, just checking. I'm just trying to find a comfortable place. Okay, anything else for Mr. Rowe? Well, it looks like we are at the Pistol Officer's Report. Mm -hmm. We are. <coughs> so the first resolution is it's our annual uh, temporary appropriations. <coughs> resolution 2018-01, be it resolved by the Board of Trustees of Miami Township, Greene County, Ohio, that to provide for the current expenses and expenditures of said sums, Board of Trustees, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2018, the following sums be and the same are hereby set aside temporarily appropriated for several purposes for which expenditures are to be made for and during said fiscal year. Said appropriations are said to be the same exact amounts as on December 31st, 2017. Now, therefore, the Miami Township Trustees approve these temporary appropriations <coughs> and direct the fiscal officer to submit these sums to the county auditor. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2018-1? I would make that motion. I'll second it. Any further discussion regarding resolution 2018-1? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. And then we have our uh, resolution 2018-02, which is the establishment of the pay schedule for the year. Whereas it is the intent of the township to authorize the annual pay schedule of the Board of Trustees and the Fiscal Officer, and whereas a maximum annual salary is determined by the State of Ohio's revised code, now therefore the annual salary of the Trustees and the Fiscal Officer is not to exceed the maximum allowable amount set by the State and is payable on a monthly basis commencing January 1, 2018. I would take that motion. Second. Any further discussion regarding Resolution 2018-02? Hearing none, hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. And lastly, something a little new. Ooh, uh, this is the uh, resolution to establish the capital fund that will receive and disperse monies for the new fire station. So, Resolution 2018-03, whereas Miami Township has secured the passage of a levy and secured a bond for the funding of a new fire station, and whereas it is necessary to establish a fund to receive the aforementioned revenues and subsequently disperse said funds as expenses occur. Now, therefore, the Miami Township trustees authorize the fiscal officer to establish Fund 4901, Capital Fund. I would make that motion. I second. Any further discussion regarding Resolution 2018-03? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Um, <coughs> so I will generate, in case we've lost the reports, the, the best way to establish our appropriate, our private appropriations for the year, in my opinion, is to review the appropriation status reports for for the end of year last day of 2017. Mm -hmm. So you can see exactly how much you spent mm -hmm. and um, how much was appropriated. Mm -hmm. In some places there's a bit more uh, appropriated than what was spent, which could possibly allow for some monies to move around a little bit in different line items where we might need them. Um, so I'll put those reports out for y'all to look at. That'd be great. And. Um, and I also will um, 
provide you with how much money we actually have to spend in each fund yeah. for this year, that which is includes what we had at the end of the year left over in each fund and what the county auditor has projected we're going to receive for the year of 2018. And then you can just have fun. <laughs> well, we got much in the general fund. I know that much. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. Um, but no. We'll make it. Yeah, we'll get through. So um, just wanted to let you know that. Okay. And, um, Thank you. Um, the process of creating the opportunity for automatic deposit of paychecks is, is um, U.S. Bank did send me some um, um, information today, uh, uh, part, part of the process, but um, it's still ongoing, so I'll let you know when we get to the point where we can, we can actually start to, you know, th then, you know, UAN has to talk to the bank and then they'll have to talk to, the, to me, so we're still, you, the U.S. Bank is getting their, their deal together first. Apparently it's... I think it was a half a dozen or so new messages. Excuse me? I think there was a half a dozen or so new messages for you about that, too. What do you mean? Like, uh, emails? Was, yeah, whatever the single point, su such and not such. Right, I just got a, like, overnight -y thing today, so yeah. okay. I think it was real important. <laughs> it's like a key thing that you use when you authorize the, um, when, we, when myself and a trustee authorizes the payments. You have to, it's like, it looks like a, um, I didn't open it up, but it's like a <coughs> travel stick thing. Oh, yeah. And it's got a password yeah. that you have to use to do that. That's a key thing. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I got those. Um, and um, any other questions right at this moment? I have none, Mark. No. Well, I'm just standing because <laughs> I can't, don't want to sit. Let's we'll never get around. <laughs> I'm not going to sit down now. I'm just going to keep standing. You take a bow. <laughs> uh, Richard, uh, I think that, yeah, that puts that's my cue, isn't puts it? Puts the spotlight on, on you. Okay, I put together, as usual, an annual report, um, which is in the same format as, as past years. Uh, noteworthy, uh, almost twice as many permits were issued this year as last year. Um, and the um, amount of money that those permits represent is four times as much as last year. Um, so we, we had the total building value of $2,408,000, which generated permit fees of $1,434. Um, these permits represented three agricultural accessory structures, four new homes, seven residential additions, one public addition, five accessory structures, barns and storage buildings, a shooting range. Where is the shooting range? Boy Scout camp. Okay. Uh, they're, 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 they're rebuilding the one they already had. A pool and a garage. Um, seven of the permits and uh, close to half the money, 924000 of value, was issued west of the bike path. We've always sort of looked at the township in two halves of the bike path. And that's, that's unusual. We haven't had activity in the western part of the township of any significant amount for, for quite a few years. Um, so the those permits, and then 14 permits and the value of, of 1,484 were issued east of the bike path. Looking at the last 15 years, and I'm not going to rattle off all these numbers, but the, as I said, we, we, an unusual amount of money was spent this year, mm -hmm. uh, but, and we had a little uptick in new homes built, and I, for the first time I took modern technology and made a little chart here, as you can see, there's no clear trend going on with, with housing. It goes up and down and back and forth. <coughs> what is interesting, and I didn't put it on this chart, but I was playing around, is that the, that the amount of, of value for the permits that we issue doesn't vary very much. It stays you know, in, in that range of, of one to two million, or roughly. It, does, it doesn't go up and down like the housing starts to. Um, I issued one driveway permit and signed four survey records. Um, the surveys have created six new potential building lots. 
whether it will, will be used that way or not is, is hard to say in this case. Um, I continue to attend bi-monthly meetings with the Green County Zoning Inspectors, um, uh, although we haven't had one for a little while. I continue to work with our zoning commission to revise the zoning code and reflect the comprehensive plan. This year the commission recommended changes in the agricultural section to the trustees. I also advised the commission of relevant zoning issues that came before me. Um, still, there are always people asking questions. Can I do this? Can I do that? Sure. Whatever. And that, it's, it's not a, a burden, so to speak, but it's a constant activity. And then new this year was a little bit of work I do with the trustees on getting zoning done for them with the village on the new fire station. Yeah. <coughs> Questions for Mr. Zott? Um, no. As usual, if there's ever any details on any of this number of kinds of things that you're interested in, I can, can generate the information. Okay, thank you. We'll, we'll review that closely and get back to you. Uh, 10 is not this time. Uh, 11 is new business. Any new business before the board, Mark? Yeah. I have uh, a couple of things. Um, I put together a very short list of what I consider to be priorities for uh, the township in 2018. These are in no particular order. I would like to have them included in the, in the minutes for our records though. Uh, one is uh, recruitment and retention of volunteers. We need two alternates to the zoning commission. We need one full-time member of the VZA. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Recruitment of volunteers. I'm going to give you this. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Two alternates to the zoning commission, one full member of the BZA, two alternates to the BZA, uh, a board of trustees public hearing for recommended zoning changes. Uh, we need to update the zoning regulation book. <coughs> we need to update the personal, the personal policy manual. Uh, we need to review and recommend document destruction uh, of warehouse warehouse files, including and especially Miami Township Fire Rescue Files that are growing uh, exponentially out there, and mold too, and, uh, and a personal favorite of someone who's not here, we need to upgrade the township website apparently. So, is there any other priorities that uh, you can think of, Mark, that you'd like to have added to that list? No, I think that sounds like a Good list. Okay, great. Um, um, but if I can interject right here, uh, when it comes time to to review and improve the website, let's let's get together on that because there are things in my section that could use some tweaking, um, and you know, and, and maybe maybe it's something where we all can learn to re repair and maintain our own sections. I don't I don't know, but. Um, I have, have noticed every so often, like when someone downloads a, a zoning permit form from the website, it doesn't come out right for some right. reason. And, but it is also out of date, the one that's there, with mm -hmm. some, some changes. But I, I get the funniest things from people when they try to download it, like it's all squeezed up in the top of the piece of really? paper. Yeah. Okay, uh, certainly a thought. Um, I'm not really of a mind to spend twenty or thirty thousand dollars on a website. But oh no, no, that's what they're running at the moment. So, or if we want, we to are going to look at rework it. You're we're doing ours as part of the because I'm mm -hmm. terrible at this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. um, and the last essay is. Mm -hmm. I don't right? know if we could bundle together. Mm -hmm. I mean, not the websites, but the project to redo them. Maybe yeah. crosswise, same thing I can talk to. Yeah. Well, people certainly use the website. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, and I, they, I know they definitely use the township one quite yeah. a bit. And ours used to be used a lot, but now it's out of date. Perfect. Uh, last thing, um, I'm in the process 
uh, sadly, of changing over uh, letterhead stationery, uh, working on a new sign for the door, all those little, oh, right. all those little tilly stuff that has to be changed <laughs> over. So scrape right. off the gold leaf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you have that. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, that's that's my new business country. <laughs> Anything else in the new business? No. Uh, any old business? Hearing none. Yeah. All right, now we yeah. have <laughs> yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> what? We have no Lamar Spracklin. <laughs> who's gonna to me. who's gonna adjourn these meetings? <laughs> well, well, I think we should. You're second. A little right. nod cool. to the fact that that was a, <laughs> that was one of many services that <laughs> Lamar provided for many moment. years. At this particular moment, that was an important one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could we get a cardboard cutout of him? Right <laughs> <now>? <laughs> 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 right okay, we moved and seconded, and all in favor. So meeting is adjourned. Thank you. <clears throat>